Hello, I'm Reverend Nancy McLeod, and it is my delight on my own behalf, on behalf of Reverend Trish Miller, and on behalf of all the people of the Anglican Parish of Lansdowne Rear, to bring you greetings as we begin our Advent journey. I'm so sorry we can't be together in person for our usual ecumenical worship service, but I pray that we will all know God's Spirit with us as we have this time of online worship together. Let's begin by lighting the first Advent candle. In our Anglican tradition, we have what's called a festival of readings and music, often called lessons and carols. And in that, we begin with a bidding, and I would like to share a portion of that with you today and a reading from that service and conclude with a prayer. Beloved in Christ, in these days of shadow and of hope, let it be our duty and our delight to listen to the story of our faith and hear again the prophet's words of blessing and doom and as we prepare to celebrate again the birth of Jesus Christ as a baby, let us remember that he also comes to judge the just and the unjust and to establish the reign of equity and power. Let us remember that the Lord of glory experienced the pain of life and death and pray for the sick, the poor, the oppressed, the anxious, the weary, and the bereaved. And remembering the promise that he shall reign forever and ever, let us pray for the rulers of the nations, for peace and justice on earth, for the unity and mission of the church, that we may be a sign of the age to come. With longing in our hearts for God's reign of peace, let us hear again the stories of Christ's coming and join with Mary and Joseph and all our forebears in faith in offering our Advent worship. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, O oh comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out! And I say, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. 
he will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let us pray. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which your son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May God's blessing be on all your Advent journey and through all the days ahead. Amen.